today it starts high boy number one high boy number two Now driving these things is kind of like watching a horror movie. You know something bad is going to happen, you just don't know when. However, the road gear is painfully slow. How slow, you ask? Well, I decided to race it. Literally. Okay, so I woke up at 5 o'clock this morning, and this is what I saw. Pretty cool, right? Anyways, uh, the reason we get up so early and we spray is because the dew on the corn acts like a natural carrier for the chemical. Hey, editing Carson here. I never really mentioned what chemical we were actually spraying. So what we are spraying is called fungicide, which helps reduce the severity of diseases, which in turn has the potential to boost yields. So basically it does to corn what your mom told you the Flintstone gummies would do to you as a kid. Ah, there we go. nineteen seventy four technology right there. Okay, so these little things are three wheeled John Deere six thousand high boy sprayers. Uh they're incredibly sketchy to drive because there's a lot of weight on the back, especially if you have the boom sticking out like I did. And uh they're very back heavy so you can pop a wheelie pretty easy. Uh actually in the in the hill country down south it was very very common for these to tip over backwards. I wonder if they look as scary to drive as they actually are to drive. Probably not. Anyways, let's get at it. So this is my first pass through the field, so I'm a little finicky and a little rusty from last year, but it is a good example to show you guys what we have to do when we drive these things. So first of all, you can see me looking down constantly here and trying to adjust something. So I don't have a fancy sprayer control monitor. I can't just type in, I want I want 12 gallons per acre. Um, I just, all I have is a pressure gauge. So at the back of the book where we bought the nozzles from, it said at 9 miles per hour, you need about 40 PSI. So that's me trying to set my pressure. And then as you can see, every once in a while here, I do quick little glances back and forth to the booms. So we try to keep the booms six inches above the canopy because that's where we think we get the best coverage. Now some corn is too tall, and like here you can see the, the top of the corn is in the boom. But uh, we tried the best we can, and uh, it's always quick little glances because these things do not dry very straight, and your clearance tolerance is very little. The sprayer is almost as wide as a rose, so you gotta keep it very straight so you're not running over any corn. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. well, My GoPro's in the other sprayer, my brother's currently, uh, he's spraying, he's doing some trials But, uh, yeah The whole way around Sorry, I'm holding my phone weird, but on the other side too, look at that. <laughs> Yikes. We pulled it like four miles, not even. Our farm place is literally like two miles that way. Just can't catch a break anymore. Okay, so current plan, uh, we're going to payloader. The payloader, we can wrap the chain around and lift this side up so we can get the tire off. So yeah, dad's gonna take me to go with the payloader. And, oh, you brought the spares, look at that. Let's see, how do I, I think I just figured it out. Okay, I better engage the parking brake. Bam. Okay, so we have spare tires, 
But uh, they're smaller tires. In fact, my dad calls them bicycle tires. Oh, you're, you're a little dirty. There you go. Anyways, so we gotta replace both tires. So I'm gonna go ahead and while he's getting tools, I'm gonna take this shield off. So that way we can get both tires. Uh, we'll probably come with a payloader, just wrap the chain around this brace, lift each side up and replace each tire. And just like that, we're up and running. We're gonna leave these off for now because uh, we lost a lot of heights. So we're afraid we might tear them off, but uh, it's definitely not gonna be as comfortable a ride. We definitely lost some height, but we're moving. So that's all that matters at the moment. Well, well, here's the story. So um, first of all, as you can see, my visibility is terrible. Uh, the only part of my clean part of my window is right here. And uh, so I was looking, following the rows, kind of last second I saw this gap where the planter didn't plant. And usually it means a rock, but not always. So I slowed down and uh, I couldn't see that hole. And I slowed down, saw the hole last second, slammed in the brakes and uh, it wasn't enough. So here I am. So yeah, I don't know, it just, it doesn't look like anything's broken up here. Um, my exhaust is on the ground, which could be a problem. I have to dig that out, but I might be able to back out of this. But looking at it, actually it might be better to try drive out of it. I don't know, I'll keep you updated. Yeah, it looks like I bent the exhaust a little bit. We might be able to bend it back, but I'm afraid to try and back out with that, uh, that like that. Are you impressed or what? Try and get down from this thing. I don't think it's, I don't think anything's really damaged except for the exhaust coming out is kind of. Let's hope the pump is. I think the pump's okay. Maybe. I tried backing it out. Okay, I'll let you. I'll let you watch. While I do that. You want me to watch? Yeah. I blew the front tire or not. Here, you hold the camera because this is gold. <laughs> Put it down all the way. Keep going. I don't know what, ha what happened. Keep going. Try it again! Let me do it! Isn't that with the chain slipping? What do you think it was? Yeah. Probably okay, isn't it? Trying to get as much weight as we possibly can back, so we're trying to get the booms up. Problem is, we don't have enough hydraulic force to uh, get them up. More, more. Yeah, I'll try.
Let me get some stuff out of the way. Success-ish, my friends. It's leaking, man. Where's the leaking out of? Right. Should I just empty this tank and we can examine it up by the... I mean, this got bent a little bit, but I think we, have, we can bend that back. I'm not worried about that. It's fine like it is right now. We got to take a 9-16 to just move it. Yeah. I might have cracked the fitting. Okay, well, should I just empty this tank yeah. out and... Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I knew it was a matter of time before one of us did it. I'm not mad. Well, good. Cause I'm just glad it. I'm just glad I didn't go through the window or something. Kyle broke his wrist when he was fucking fell on the tile. Did he? I'm just glad you must have been what half speed when he hit it. Yeah, I, I, I hit the clutch and the brake probably, I don't know, ten foot back. But you know, brakes suck in these things, so. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll just finish this round. I'll finish the tank and we can examine it further. Well, now I gotta reset my guidance here. Use, uh, no, use previous. There we go. And I gotta clean up everything that fell forward in here. I mean, we're going again. I still hold my pressure and uh, the boom seems to be working, so. Just keep going, I guess.